Hello everyone and welcome to Digital Doc Games. This channel is dedicated to exploring the intersection of video games and health. But what exactly does Games for Health mean? In this video, I'll be breaking down the first bucket of Games for Health, a use case for video games that specifically tackles the issue of patient adherence in medicine. We'll look at human behavior and why, if a sick person is told exactly what they need to do to get themselves better, they often don't do it. And we'll discuss how video games, yes, video games, can help give them the motivation to take the extra step in their own care and wellness. But before we do, please make sure to like, comment, and share, and subscribe to this channel to stay up to date on all things video games and health. I'm a doctor that specializes in games for health and health design, and it is my joy to bring you these videos. Before we can understand how video games can make an impact on patient motivation, we must first understand the problem. Healthcare has a major compliance problem. It turns out, while doctors are experts at telling patients what they need to do to improve their health, getting patients to actually follow through with their recommendations is a different story. Imagine if the same level of care was given to understanding the patient experience as software developers give to understanding the user experience. But understanding the patient experience is only the first step. We can do more to engage people in their own care by looking at another specific example of the user experience, the player experience. The player experience in video games is like the user experience, but with an added focus on engagement. Everything a game designer does in some way is intended to keep the players engaged in the experience, to keep players playing. At the core of this principle is a Bible of game design principles, a fine-tuned set of rules and game components that have evolved from the first ever video game, Tennis for Two in 1958, into the over $220 billion industry where video games sit today. A staggering number that on its own proves the raw power of engagement. So if game developers keep the players playing, Imagine what this means when taking the core principles that they use into the realm of medicine to keep patients engaged in their treatments, to keep treatments treating. The most crucial part of any game is what is known as the core gameplay loop. The core gameplay loop is the primary mechanic or activity that players engage in and is the heart of the player experience. If a core gameplay loop is not properly defined or executed, a game will likely fail. This often appears as a jumble of ideas, even if they are good ideas, that lack a connective tissue binding them all together. The result is a lack of a driving force that motivates players to progress through the game. It is crucial that the core gameplay loop is compelling in a game, or engagement will suffer. Core gameplay loops can vary between games, but each game genre often share similar core gameplay loops. For example, the core loop for a 2D side-scrolling platformer like Super Mario Bros. is this. Run to the right of the screen, avoid or jump on enemies to defeat them, rescue the princess. On top of this core loop are accessory loops that further drive the core gameplay loop, such as breaking blocks to receive power-ups, collecting coins to earn extra lives, or reaching flagpoles at the end of each level to unlock the next level where you can start the loops all over again. Central to the core loop is a driving force that serves to keep players feeling attached, engaged, or accomplished, all factors that drive motivation. A core gameplay loop can incorporate one or all of these factors to create a positive feedback loop, where players are encouraged to continue engaging in the cycle because the reward is worth it. Accessory loops, graphics, and other game features can enhance an overall game experience, but if the core gameplay loop is not strong, the overall product will fail. When all is said and done, the player must feel compelled to rescue the princess. Core loops do not only exist in games though. In fact, if you pay attention, you'll see core loops everywhere. Traditional sports like soccer or baseball are driven by core loops. Progress through innings, score points, win the game, win the series. Education is full of core loops. Acquire knowledge, take tests, receive a good grade, unlock further education and career opportunities. Certainly in healthcare, core loops should be a no-brainer. Take this medication each morning, cure what ails you, live a longer and healthier life. Yet adherence and compliance remain major issues in medicine. One reason for this is that the rewards in healthcare are often invisible or delayed, making it difficult for patients to stay engaged in their treatment. 
For example, high blood pressure is usually not a symptom you can feel, so you aren't rewarded by symptomatic relief after improving your blood pressure. In essence, the human body in medicine has failed to create a compelling core loop. All hope is not lost though. There are ways that healthcare providers can incorporate feedback loops into their practice to keep patients engaged, like by instituting regular check-ins and status updates that can provide patients with positive reinforcement. However, instituting consistent feedback loops takes time and discipline, the former which is often in short supply among healthcare providers. But where doctors don't have time, digital interventions have all the time in the world and can help fill this gap to improve patient outcomes and make the patient experience more compelling. In order to improve adherence and compliance in healthcare, it's crucial to create compelling core loops that motivate patients to follow their care plans. If the motivation to get better or to be healthier is not enough to drive patients to adhere to their care plans, we must determine what will. But we don't have to recreate the wheel. We only have to look at the $220 billion behemoth of an industry that has already mastered the art of engagement. By incorporating the principles of game design, such as core gameplay loops into healthcare, we can create engaging solutions that motivate patients to get better because the process of doing so, the core loop, is so compelling. For example, a game for a person with diabetes could have a core loop that involves checking blood sugar levels and earning skill points for in-range values. These skill points can then be used to defeat enemies and rescue the princess. Sound familiar? Perhaps our avatar is even a plump little Italian plumber. Notice the core loop remains the same as in Super Mario Brothers. The only thing that has changed is the input we are using to interact with the game. Instead of running and jumping, the patient interfaces with the game by entering blood sugar values. The core loop though remains the same, compelling as ever. There is a potential issue with our proposed diabetes game though. The input method of entering blood glucose data is not quite as engaging as the input method in Super Mario Bros of precise timing of button presses, which is an active way to interact with the game that also requires a skill set that contributes to what makes the overall experience fun and engaging. However, as long as the core gameplay loop is intact, we can improve on the fun in other ways by utilizing gamification techniques. Gamification involves using game design principles to motivate and engage users beyond the groundwork established by the core gameplay loop. This can look like the inclusion of features such as leaderboards, leveling up systems, challenges to complete, or rewards like customization options to personalize your avatar or play experience. Gamification can also include introducing high fidelity graphics, an eye-catching art style, or even the inclusion of a compelling overarching narrative to the game. Gamification has the potential to improve patient engagement, but it should not be used as a substitute for a compelling core gameplay loop. Designers have to be cautious of relying on game-like elements alone to increase user engagement, as the novelty can wear off quickly without a solid core loop in place. This is a common issue seen in wellness apps, which often add game-like elements such as leaderboards and reward systems to their platforms to boost user engagement, but this approach is often short-lived. Like a mentor of mine in this space once said to me, chocolate covered broccoli is still just broccoli. Video games have the potential to help solve the problem of patient adherence in healthcare by utilizing the principles of game design and providing insight into the player experience. By understanding the patient journey and thoughtfully implementing core gameplay loop of video games into health products, doctors and game designers can work together to create games that motivate patients to take an active role in their own care and wellness. The result is a much brighter future where people are motivated to engage in their own health and have fun while doing it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you think of using games for health engagement, or what game or game-like experience have you used to motivate you in making positive strides in your health? Check out some other videos on the channel that show how some games like Dance Dance Revolution or Call of Duty even are used for these exact reasons. And if you would be so kind, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay up to date on all things video games and health. See you next time.